Meghan Markle here. Today is January 22, 2024. It is uh, 4.13 a.m. So I just finished edit my third video uh, that I recorded. Was it yesterday or the day before? Okay. There was one day I recorded three videos. I think it was yesterday so or the day before. Uh, so I just finished edit everything. So now I'm on my uh, PYTE back end. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this video, but I'm only gonna do one recording today. So I wanna capture all of the information on the, my channel's back end. Okay, so this is what's important here. There will be some stuff that will be blocked. Okay, so no, nothing. All right, so there's my public watch hours for the last 365 days, 2,783. All right, so there were some issues here I pointed out already. So let me go on my other channel um our part of pure service you guys should subscribe to all of these channels so right now this one just made it to the monetization program so it seems like there's some stuff i need to read and see how i could uh, monetize those videos normally once i get in they accept me the videos i could monetize them right away but it seems like there's some issues now so let's look at uh, my analytic. All right, so there's that. Uh, they don't give me the estimate because nothing is monetized. I cannot monetize the thing. Views in the last 48 hours, 3,876. And I have 706 subscribers. I think I need to put the let's say for instance this is where I'm having issues here there should have been a monetization thing here it's not there but I think I need to get a thousand subscribers for me to have that option but right now what I need to do some part will be black here now that I'm in the monetization program there's some personal information here so it seems like I need to do this setup here uh, membership so they give me the option now to create membership for this channel while I'm still working with my uh, subscribers number, I think that's what it is, but I don't want to do membership. I want to have membership only for Patreon, but uh, that's a problem right now that I'm having. All right, so I think I'm done with this. Let's go on app your team Sussex. So I think this is where I'm going to put this video. So there's my subscribers, 3,720 subscribers, my estimate, $181.83, and my analytic, there's that here, 2,602 um, 2 views in the last 48 hours, and this is my subscription. But for some reason, when I have to make money off of those videos, like this channel for instance, the numbers are very low, but for the other ones, something looks very fishy. This is why I don't want to do membership, okay? I'm probably uh, overthinking it, but whatever. So this is what I have for you guys. I have 12 tweets to share with you, and uh, they vary from Sarah, Sarah Ferguson, Kate, and of course the UK still on the bashing spree, okay? A little bit more about the living legend of aviation award so these are some leftover tweet that i came across and i want to share them with you so let's go over them really quick <clears throat> i've been a little bit under the weather this past uh, couple of days this is on the list too but further down all right 
let me make sure I got this. Okay, 100%. Okay, so this is the first tweet. They are forcing people to ask why the reason for Kate Middleton's surgery is such a secret. So this just came up. But how long ago was this announced? Is it recent? So instead of responding to Kate's information, so they're throwing more people under the bus. Before it was uh, Charles who's doing some sort of a surgery, prostate or something like that, or a checkup, and now it's Sarah. So how long ago did they mention her? All right, Sarah Ferguson diagnosed with malignant skin cancer found during breast cancer treatment. Sarah Ferguson diagnosed with malign. Okay, so let me see something here. Let me pause. Okay, so I wanted to see how recent it was. So it seems like they announced that uh, couple yesterday or something like that. Ah, uh, whatever. Now we can... <laughs> from one light... Okay, allegedly, it seems like from one light to another to another, but there's a possibility she may have. I'm not saying she doesn't have, but it's just the all of a sudden, all of the domino effect of things. Uh, let me read some few comments and then that's it. Let's read from bottom up, from here. All right. Um, she probably didn't have surgery. Or it wasn't serious. Maybe they're making reference to, uh, what's her name? Kate. Uh, I guess it's best to read from up down because they are connected. Okay, I had no idea Sarah Ferguson had cancer, my lord. And yeah, my first theory was how this whole Kate having surgery thing was a farce. Okay, if she had surgery, it wasn't serious. She's trying to buy time and sympathy and pretending that it is. There's a possibility of that. That way people will say, He's cruel for leaving a sick wife. Uh, he's cruel. Is it William or something like that? Okay, I blacked this one. Okay, when I had abdominal surgery, I was so weak and hurting that my mind wasn't even able to function properly. Oh, there's one tweet I didn't even bother uh, putting because they're saying that she's going to do bed, bed rest. She's going to be working in bed, but she can't even... D Let me just shut my mouth. All right. Things wrong about Kate Latest. As I am sure you already point out, sis, one, if planned, why were royal events scheduled? Two, this is why people don't believe it. Why wasn't Bill, why wasn't Bill there quickly for appearance sake? Three, we know, we know her work ethic and how they use diversion when controversy come. It's so absurd. Okay, she was desperate, so she cooked up this plan to start things. Uh, it is as if... They want people to ask questions, is Kate's surgery an uh, emergency or cosmetic reason? It's odd that William has only visited once and I haven't seen her family visit at all. So why is she in the hospital? And then they want Harry, okay, who has his own family, to fly across the ocean to come and... <laughs> this is ridiculous, okay, because it's not serious. She's playing it up to buy time and get sympathy so people will think it crass and evil if he announces a divorce when she's gravely ill. That's uh, possible. Let me leave that alone. Let's go to the next one. Oh, it seems like I have another one regarding her, Kate. Is that the one regarding the divorce thing? What is that? Okay, Prince William really, really, really want a divorce. Okay, the Princess of Wales is to be out of action until Easter, at least. What will the royal family do without her? Find out here, okay? I don't have the link. Nobody else can do the Princess of Wales job. So what kind of job is that? Doing nothing. So there's me here. Then Ford Fiesta was dancing the other day. What's up with her? Well, the institution better close up shop and call it a day. Uh, I feel like I just responded to that, but it was 12 hours ago. Wow. Okay, there's that here. That's an ad. Okay, Rose will be happy to help out a friend and neighbor. They will not even need to reinvent the wheel. They already did it for Prince Philip. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You must be his lawyer, I gather. Okay, I will be at least surprised. He's been giving her the sink eye for a long time now. Look at those dead eyes. There's the laugh here. All right, so let's go to the next one. Like I said, this one, this video is going to be very quick. So. <clears throat> so there's that one here. When you spend 24-7, 365 bashing Meghan Marco, you probably won't have time to fix your leaky roof and take care of other things in your real life. No wonder all of them look melted. The Rangers have got the most pathetic people on the planet. So what is that now? 
We have been battered by a terrible storm all day. The winds sound insane and it has been raining constantly. Buckets are positioned under the leaking roof that we're still waiting to get fixed. It never seems urgent when it doesn't rain. Who is that? Internet has been going off and on all day. The animals hate the wind and I have all gone loopy. The puppy got hold of my ball of yarn and has caused havoc. The cat has decided the puppy is fair game and has been having a pop at her all day. Not exactly a nice calm Sunday here. I hope your Sunday have been calmer. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's like a fairy tale story. Okay, oh goodness, her wolf will cave in and she will be homeless. There's a lot of fear. Yet, they contact the year that one, oh, are they one of those people? See, I don't follow the rangers for me to know the, the situation. Okay, yet, they contact the year that they won't be buying their clothes. I can't with this troll garbage, just a pathetic, miserable old hag. I am screaming when I saw this post. I mean, why will they post this information about them? Uh, but anyway, let's see here. Right, these are the same people wanting to boycott Dior and Hermes. I bet even in the middle of a storm, her priority is Megan. <laughs> let's go to the next tweet. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now we are into some of Harry's tweet. Well, you know, tweets that make reference to Harry. So there's that here. The stone the builder rejected has become the cornerstone. Let your detractors ostracize you. They are setting you free to soar above them. This is one of the things I was saying on my last video that I just added. It's like uh, William's uh, jealousy and envy and he lashes his on Harry for Harry doing his own thing. Meanwhile, due to William's insecurity forcing Harry to make certain moves for himself and his family, Harry's family, the Sussex's family. Okay? And then each time he is forced to make certain moves to better, uh, you know, I guess to prevent William from getting close to him or something like that. All right? To counteract, whatever, counteract the action of William. And each of those actions that Harry made, William get upset or jealous of Harry of that because he envied that. Meanwhile, it's William who somewhat, in a way, in a weird, crazy way, the way that I see it in my head, is that William is pretty much setting the path for Harry because Harry is trying to avoid him and then he keeps coming after Harry. Meanwhile, Harry is creating a path for himself to divert from William's craziness and then each time Harry do something, William still get upset and angry. Uh, it's, it's a crazy mindset that the UK has. And this is why sometimes I can't believe Harry come out to be the way that he is. Let's see some of the comments. Oh, that's it. Well said. So that was it. Okay. Let's go. I guess she just tweeted it. So I just came across it. When was that? When did she tweet it? Uh, 12, 16 p.m. Oh, that was since yesterday. Okay, next tweet. Okay, so this is the speech of Harry. I hope this is the whole thing because I had uh, bits and pieces uh, from uh, that speech I, I put on my other channel. Okay, Prince Harry, living legend, living legend of aviation, 2024 inductee. This is on a whole other level. The Duke has found his niche. Harry has leveled up. All right, so let's listen to that. It's 2 minutes and 16 seconds. The one that I saw already, it seems like whoever put these together for us, go around the internet and find different bits and pieces of the speech and then plug them together. Let's hope this is the entire one because th this looked like the same uh, perspective, the same angle of what I saw already. But let's listen. He's been trying to perfect the hover and then immense satisfaction in doing so. I felt pride in receiving... So many moments as a pilot where you feel like you're walking on air. And yet throughout each flight during my military career, the one constant was always trust. Trust in the aircraft. Trust in my fellow comrades. Trust in my many mentors. And above all else, trust in myself. Flying taught me the power of discipline, the power of patience, and beyond that, 
the power of trust in your gut. And while this award recognizes the achievements of individuals, it is important to remember that aviation only advances by celebrating each and every person from design and factory floor to mechanics and safety staff. All these individuals are the true living legends of aviation in my book. Because without them, we'd never leave the ground. Their passions, opening doors for others along the way. Let them taste the magic of flight that we've been lucky enough to experience ourselves. When he said that part here, in one of my videos, I only put the screenshot of the, the thumbnails of a video that I did where I believe it was an actress who had said something. And I was like, you know, we need to respect the ones who came before us. So when Heavy was saying that, you know, to leave the door open, you know, for the next one and whatever, that's what came to mind. When did he say it? Let me move it back slightly. Opening doors for others along the way. That. Let them taste the magic of flight that we've been lucky enough to experience ourselves. Thank you again for this incredible honor. Have a great night. That was a very, very impressive speech. I didn't even hear the entire things, but at least the ones that I heard were pretty good. Okay, is he saying something here? All of tonight's uh, new living legends of aviation be on stage for this group shot. And we'll ask you as they all make the finest glow. Oh, this one, I don't know what she was doing here. <laughs> I was like, I hope she didn't fall. Okay, so that's pretty much it. These are other people who were there. Okay. Change the world through her charitable endeavor. Okay, there's a the music. Oh. I'm oh, I would like to hear her too. I, I guess I will have to pay 400 some. Ah, uh, come on. Something just happened. Okay, so it's gonna play again. So let's read some of the comments. Whatever is here. Okay. That reporter had all those bad things to say about the venue only for it to have hosted the Golden Globes earlier. There's that here. She should have just stayed home and ate her food. Okay, so excited to see video from Living Legend of Aviation Award Show. Thank you for sharing. All right. Um, he's just a truly remarkable person and have become such an incredible orator. Yeah. Yep. Have, I guess uh, we've seen some pictures. Um, is it Australia when he was on stage for the Invictus thing and for something I don't know if it was for Invictus and Megan was sitting uh, in the audience just them two whoever captured that uh, image did a fantastic job you know and we've seen other instances where it seems like it could be a completely different story but it seems like Megan is sort of helping Harry with his speech so maybe perhaps my humble opinion Megan have crack the code for Harry what sort of things he needs to do when he's doing his his speech because he has gotten way better way better and also this is where the other one the left behind could have gotten help all right but instead they went on the hate so whatever let's move on next one okay so that's some pictures from the uh, event so now the Avengers are saying that Harry is copying William because he wore a tuxedo to a fancy dress event that required tuxedo dress because we all know that William is the only person on the planet who can wear a tuxedo and anyone else is just copying him. Someone should tell these people. I don't know. It's not even childish anymore. I don't even know what this, the mindset it's not all of the UK, but it seems like the elite people because they saw what's happening here. It seems like they so protective while I'm talking. I'm just going to show the images. They so protective of their little bubble, the classism that they are in. Now that regular people who have money, who's doing their own thing or whatever. So they become infuriated. Okay, we, those people are not trying or at all to be in their little bubble. But instead, they create their own bubble. Like Megan have said, if they don't want you at your table, you create your own table. So now, they're, doing, they're going nuts. 
and then they're showing their stupidity at the same time okay so there's more images this one i share that with you this is very nice oh my god i have some tweets regarding him now the daily fell is going berserk with uh about him so apparently he is a prince from germany i didn't even know germany had a prince all right so there's more images okay so that they are here oh there's no more here all right so there's more here heavy is re-wearing the velvet tux jacket he wore to the evening reception on his wedding day a year or two later william turned up at an event in a green velvet jacket and that's what the derangers are saying harry copied but harry wore it first oh is that <laughs> ah it's so silly no this is what this is dark what mm. whatever I don't know what to say about these things. Yep, uh, exactly. That's an ad. They are also saying William was over. Okay, they are also saying William was offered the award first, but turned it down. Even though William doesn't belong to the club, make it make sense. Let him tell himself or them to make themselves feel good. Okay, how could he be offered the award if you have to pay for it? According to them. <laughs> That is true. They were saying that. I saw the same person claiming that only fully qualified palette have the gold wings, while that the partially qualified palette have silver and heavy felt three times. Hmm. Hey, genius. Okay, so there's more to that. What is it? The fully qualified palette get wings, period. Also, you don't get sent to Top Gun flight school in the U.S. if you fail so much as once idiots they are all idiots they have no access so they just make shit up like harry's wearing lifts and uh, his shoes <laughs> the man is just under six feet to be tall oh my god if he was wearing lift he'll be seven feet tall make it make sense <laughs> because john is the same height yet since uh, he's aging longer he's on the shrinking end of life and maybe six feet one now. Plus, in the photo with Basil and John, it appears Harry might be standing on a step with the other three standing on the floor, giving the impression of being taller. What the hell? Harry is standing on the same... <laughs> what the hell are they talking about? Harry is standing on something for sure. Jeff Bezos is only five foot seven, and John and Jeff appear to be the same height. Harry is listed at six feet two, but is just under six feet three, and on a good hair <laughs> on a good hair day, can pass for six feet three. No issue. <laughs> That's a fair bit more than Jeff. The Rangers need to learn to use. <clears throat> uh, what is it? Use Google and their brains. Yeah, you're asking too much of them possibly the angle of the photo i don't know i don't know all right so there's that here which one did i just read uh that's that okay you pay for most of what to be honest i'm not sure in this instance though it strikes me at that gunner wells set in the back uh will ever be considered for living legend aviator given that he can actually fly anything okay i don't know anything about that but let's move on which one was I doing here? Let's get out of there. Oh, five. Okay. I don't want this to be too long. I'm already 20 something minutes. Next tweet. The daily fell outside the legend of aviation event. <laughs> okay. Not just outside the legend of aviation. They are refreshing their screen every five seconds. Just waiting to get any info on Harry and Meghan. They just sit, wait, wait, hoping, praying for Harry and Meghan to throw them a a born a born here i feel such delicious joy seeing them fight it out outside and then prince mario my new hero shut them right down they were lip sick after there's a laugh here yeah they went after him I, I have some videos about that all right let's see here could be happier for those clowns so happy prince harry continues to pay them and their ilk dust Okay, yeah, I'm crying lol. There's that exactly. I love this for the toxic British media. All right, so now we are into the gutter press. This is where they start going after the prints, I think. There's this here. When you thought the British media couldn't go any lower, the breaking news in the UK is Prince Harry took a selfie with a fake prince. According to the envious British media, the likes of John Travolta, Morgan Freeman, and Kenny G 
or all D-list celebrities rather than the British media concentrating on the failing health of the UK royals. They are here watching what Prince Harry is doing. They are so upset because they didn't get to print the ready-made story on the Duchess of Sussex. Next, they will tell you they are irrelevant. Yeah, they were saying some nonsense about him, him. Okay, Lost Duke. My God, this is your future. Heavy having a selfie with fake royal like Prince Mario Max at Minor Bash with D-list crowd. So all of these people are D-list crowd. Oh my God. <clears throat> it's just that these are people with money, business people. When they start looking at things like this and said, this is the way you guys are, I'm not going to do business over there. My God, this is not looking good at all. Well, then again, they did say, was that, uh, was the other guy that heavy suing? He's a anti-monarchist. He's a republic. But even though he's friend with the royal family, writing favorable things to them, but in the end, he's pretty much trashing the country. All right? That's the one from Australia. I forgot his name. Okay, this is just petty. There's me here. Okay, when the Daily Fell was trying, okay, was trying to get him to trash Harry, they didn't get that from him, so they piss. Okay, so this is the lack of this. Let the British media keep sinking the country. He spoke very highly of the UK when the Daily Fell was trying to interrogate him. He made reference to Queen Elizabeth II. So the gutter press of the UK is trash. All right, so there's this here. I'll let you listen to some of the things that he said. It's like they were interrogating him. All right, Lord, the Daily Fell and UK press were trying in the lobby to shout have you spoken to your father and Kitty? There's that. But Harry came and left through the back door. There's the life here. Trying to ask questions about whether the Sussexes are accepted in Hollywood. They're very nice people. All right. Two minutes and 13 seconds. I have a whole bunch of videos of him. It was not just this. There's a long video of him. It's on our part of Pure Service. Go check it. But for this video, I'll share only that one. I congratulated Prince Harry for being such an achieved pilot okay. and I saw that he was very touched it's a big award and yeah. it's very well deserved and he gave the most lovely speech can you tell us what he said? others okay. and how grateful is this not only accepting an award for himself but also thanking others of the aviation industry for making so many things happening the airlifts helping people bringing all these planes up so now that I hear Harry partial of Harry's speech, he's pretty much summarizing what Harry said and he's spot on. And then the thing is that they're trying to ask him some other <laughs> juicy question, but he wants to finish his thought. And this is what pisses them off. All right, let's continue. Thank the engineers. He thanked the ones that are on the ground making flight even possible. So he did not leave a single person out whom he would thank. And that showed a very good heart, and he was fabulous. He spoke beautiful, and the and ovations took, you, you were took. exactly <laughs> what he deserves. So I'm very happy for him. And when him. you took the selfie with him, what did you say? Did you say, can I have a selfie with you, or did you say, can I have a picture? Oh, we had a personal conversation, and he's fabulous. Very nice, very humble, very sweet, and what I can you, tell, very about? touched. What did you it's talk It's private. Oh, good. Thank, thank you so you. much. Okay, okay, and the other thing with these people, in front of you, they seem so friendly and everything like that. But once they get back, being all nice and everything, meanwhile, they gonna s they were sinking him. And this is the same thing here. They're asking him questions and all that. He didn't say anything negative. And then they went in and, you know, to trash him. My God. What's your first time meeting him? I'm very, very happy that he <laughs> is the focus of the night. He deserves it because he goes through a lot, like he's so public, and I think it's a very personal moment of joy for him. And what I like to do is congratulate him for his big award, and I think everybody else should, because how many big moments in life do we all have, right? It's a very few, and this is one of his very big, big moments, and it should be all about him. Yeah, sorry, you. before you go, you've yes. been here so many times. I've been here so many times. Uh, and I'm great friends with the lips. <laughs> this is the thing that I like. He cut them short. 
<laughs> You've been here so many times and the uh, reporter didn't even finish his question, but he picked it up. He's been here so many times and he went on with his whatever he had in mind to say. Family? Yeah. This is a family run event. This is a family <clears throat> award. The Lips family, Cherry Lips, is one of the kindest yeah. and best people. He always helps others. And this event is actually run and hosted by a charity, by the Kitty Hawk Academy. And the Lips are dear friends and close friends. I love them from the bottom of my heart. And that uh, the award goes now to this great... Okay, so in other words, it goes to a process. That's what he was trying to say, to a process where uh, the board members... What is it? The... People like him and now Harry, who's just received an award, um, now he will have the set of selecting who can get the award. Similar to that. And the then oops, the oops, oops. Harry. and then after, the board members will review their selective uh, aviators that they choose, and then they'll make the final decision. That's what he was going to say. All right, so go on app your team Sussex. There's more videos of him. Okay, he gave a long interview. All right, then why are the tabloids spilling so much ink on D-listers? This is the other brother's jealousy, rage, and black and white. The UK print media is in its death throes. They are desperate, but as Megan said, the band pulls tighter just before it breaks. <coughs> All right, minor bash with D-list crowd. There's that here. So John Travolta, Kurt Russell, and Morgan Freeman are D-listers. They are sitting with envy and disbelief right now. More people will rather hang out with these D-listers than the royal family any day of the week and twice on Sunday. This is what I was saying. They're just jealous. They make their, I'm talking in terms of the royal family. They wanted their, their social class, the royalty, to be very rare. The rare, you know. Uh, nobody can really get in it. And then meanwhile, people from the outside to be begging. This is what they want. People to be begging to be within the royal family circle. So now what happened here, people saying, okay, you don't want me to be uh, uh, in your circle? Now I create my own. So all the other people are hanging out, you know, having fun and say, F you. So now they become angry they upset they are jealous now now because nobody wants to cheer for them and beg to be at their presence you know this kind of thing uh, it's kind of crazy thinking but that's the way i see it okay i just read this if your crowd in the uk is the is the a-list ones i would rather be with the d-list crowd in the usa the crowd in the usa respect and facilitate togetherness love and respect what does the a-listers crowd does in the uk they denigrate abuse bullied young parent and their young and their young children i guess uh, their young babies harry should be able to talk and take pics with people he meets okay he did not make deals or take anything from them prince harry should not be in the business of calling people d-list he is a prince who should open his heart to the common man that is what he does well and this is why he is loved and respected assessing people's worth and status should not be his work and this guy was it what's his name what's his name um Duke uh, Harry Selfie Prince Mario. Okay, he did raise this question here. If you work hard in the U USA, they don't care what status you are in, whatever, as long as you could put in the work. Uh, he did bring that up. And this is another reason why they wanted to remove everything from him, for him not to use HRH and all those, you know, imaginary objects that they put under his name. So they think those hrh is what will open the door for him so now the door are being opened without any of these you know titles and all of that so they upset but harry's putting in the work so the door is being open for him because he's putting the energy behind uh the things that he's doing it's not the title yeah this is why they did not want him to use hrh this and that and whatever other thing and then they're asking for him to return his titles and all of that I don't know. These people are crazy. Okay, it seems every person Harry meets is now getting abused. Even JT himself now, Facebook comment this morning on Harry Award, a disgusting over 700 people and rising vicious comment. 
Okay, wait. Uh, I guess waiting, vicious comment, and less than 20 minutes. What a nasty world we live in. I mean, it's just that they're exposing themselves. The UK is exposing themselves. When you see from colonialism, everywhere they go is destruction after destruction after destruction. Now they're showing it, people are seeing it <coughs> in real time. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, that's that. I just went into that. Is Caroline Graham's mom proud of her for her nasty, vindictive lies? Poor mom probably hates her like Angela Levine. Okay, I don't know. Is that her who wrote the thing? What's the name? Okay, Josh Sanders. Okay. Uh, I don't know anything about that. Let me leave it alone. Uh, the pettiness is proving to people Harry was right. Thank you. There's a comment. I just respond some, something similar to that. Their pettiness is proving to people Harry was right about everything he is he wrote and spare and the old point of view they did. They will sabotage what's left of the royal family. They are so desperate to protect if uh, they carry on like this. Morgan Freeman, a D-lister. <laughs> Okay, bless that jealous heart. Like I was saying in one of the videos, uh, his voice alone, sometimes he doesn't even need to act out the thing, but a voiceover. You know, there's some people who have the radio type of voice. He's one of them. All right, the Toxic British Media Act as a praxis for the incumbent monarch and the heir, so we can only imagine the entitled lazy Prince William is trying to spoil everything his younger brother gets, really is and has always been a spoiled brat. Uh, right? They wanted Harry to take a photo with these women so they could wag, okay, they could wag Megan, but Harry is not that dumb. He respects his wife. Okay. Uh, that, I saw them doing some catwalk or whatever, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know who they are, so I'm not gonna uh, bash, okay? Um, oh, Harry said no to photo. Oh, I see. I saw that before. Harry said no to photo, but Kurt Russell was all about it. Okay, so that's probably that. <laughs> wow. I mean, to be in the present to say that, in the mindset to be in the present to say, no, I don't want to do that. Okay, this is literally screaming, I'm, no I'm nothing but a big pathetic jealous loser. Okay, is the jealousy in the headline for me? The press are pathetic. All right, unknown celebrities, some unknown D-listers. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. How many movies this John? Oh my God, he even mentioned child actors. So he's been in the movie for a long time. Okay, idea. What a waste of life some of these Latin and British tabloid are. So which A-list celebrity crowd has this client journalist Josh Saunders been hanging around then? I will happily be in a D-list celebrity crowd with John Travolta, Morgan Freeman, Kenny G, etc., etc. Uh, this is the thing. You have to uh, um, embrace your your circles. My goodness. <laughs> but yet they're bashing on the... Oh, my God. What did you expect from the trash tabloid? Which makes you wonder if all these medical problems are true. It's three of them now. Yeah, so Sal Ferguson. Okay, Jeff Bezos is a D-lister now too. There's the laugh here. Then he spent million to go out of space, and I think he made reference to that. They just met about all the celebrities who then attend the coronation. UK is about to go through a Hollywood elite evil, <laughs> evil phase. Okay, but yes, but how long are we going to promote the ugliness? False info. I don't get it. All right, they continue to sink lower and lower. In one video, I went. I was like, when are some people in the UK, well-minded individuals say, enough is enough. Enough is enough because they're making the entire UK look bad. All right, next tweet. Fact. Dr. Mario Max Prince, Zhu Schoenberg, Lip, Prince Mario Max, son of Waldemar Prince, Zhu Schoenberg, Lip, Prince Waldemar, son of Princess Fyodova, sorry if I pronounce it wrong, of Denmark and Dr. Antonia Prenzensi Zu Schoenberg Lip Princess Antonia photo government birth certificate and certified translation the princely family okay I feel sorry for Prince Harry solely having a chat with him capsulated myself into the world of false defamation and hate post-tabloid journalism as well. Being a professional reporter myself, I am stunned by the extent of fake news, da-da-da-da-da-da. Okay, so what are all these here? So this is his birth certificate. 
Okay. Registered something here, 2009. Prince, that's his name here. Okay. So he was born December 23, 1977, I think. It looks like he's in German. I don't speak German. Let's see if I could see the... This one was translated in 2009, I think. Let's see here. Is that the... Yeah. So there's the translation. Birth certificate, Attenberg. Okay. Register number, child, last name, there's it is here. First name, Mario Marx Prince. Gender, male. Birth... Okay, December 23, 1977. Birthplace, Austria. Okay, so that's the... Isn't um, Arnold Schwarzenegger from Austria too? Okay, mother. Princess of Schoenberg Lip. Birth name, there it is here. First name, Gestrude Tekla Antonia. Religion, unknown. Father, last name, Prince of uh, Schoenberg Lip. So he's a prince as well. Birth name, don't know. First name, there's that. Religion unknown. Place date, okay, that's when they were um, notarized clerk. They uh, translated it. Uh, so this is the original thing here. And I guess this is his parents and stuff. So that's them here. Okay. Oh, I opened something before. I was looking at um, something. <coughs> There's that here. His Highness Prince Waldemar Schonsberg Lip, born 19th December 1940. I guess that's the father. And Clinic Castle passed away on the 11th of August 2020. The prince was happily married and his wife, H.H. Dr. Princess Antonia Schonsberg Lip, and also his son, H.H. Dr. Prince Mario Max Schoenberg, Lip, and his daughter, H.H. Princess. Okay, so there's all those names here. Um, will terribly miss him, having done so much good and spread joy and happiness. He will uh, be a, a bright angel in heaven and is remembered and unsurpassed elegant and numerous successful ventures and activities. We love you, Prince Waldmer. Let's see here. All right, so this is him here. I had to look him up because the other one, the UK is saying he's a fake uh, prince, but maybe the, uh, I don't know, the system in, the, in Germany, why they remove their, their thing. Maybe they decided to be, you know, they don't want to do those kind of monarch. I don't know. But let's see here. So this is Mario Max Prince Zuschansberg. That's him here. Family and... That's in German. All right, so I'll leave this in the description. I was curious. I only read the English part. I was curious about it, so I went there and checked, and I saw that. this The link of this will be in the description for you. All right, so there's me here. Now, with this very calm and sensible interview he gave them, I hope any well-respected person to never, ever give them a millisecond of their time ever again. Harry knows this gutter press better than anybody. This is why he cut communication with them. They felt keep proving Prince Harry point. Okay, so this is the thing that I was saying, I made reference to. Okay, Harry is living in a nightmare sponsored by his only sibling. This sibling encouraged a staff to give evidence against Harry's wife and support of a tabloid and court proceedings. He later gave the staff an honor. This cool sibling has the to remedy to call himself a mental health advocate. Like I've said, he better stay away from everything of, um, what is it, with mental health. And the other thing too, I don't think William is looking further. When you look at, he just experienced his father's coronation. There are some celebrities that his father asked to come to his coronation. Did they show up? No. But these things that he's doing now, when it's his turn, if he ever made it, if the UK will accept the system to continue, so he has a, you know, let's just leave it as that. He should have learned from his father, but instead, the cool mind, whoever's around him, who's encouraged him, thinking this is a good thing, it's like they're making him uh, self-destruction. Okay, you're too kind to those people. The virtual you're receiving is because you spoke kindly of Prince Harry. That's what it is. I hope you understand that they treat 
everyone associate with Harry and Meghan this way. Black them all. Good luck. That is true. Okay, your highness, welcome to the mentally deranged world of the UK royal family. Fantastic club. And there's a syncophantic toxic media this is why prince harry left that crazy world to live in the u.s for his safety and sanity thank you for standing up to these bullies and shutting them down okay this is a horrible situation thank you for speaking up about this issue i'm sorry you are targeted uh they'll soon leave you alone but they never leave harry and megan all right prince among men there's that here that's an ad so let's go to the next tweet now is a tweet regarding J John Travolta. All uh, right, there's that here. This make me respect John even more. No funny business. So this is a retweet. There's no comment. This is just uh, extra. Uh, let's go into that. All uh, right, okay. John Travolta didn't waste time posting with comments off. So there's that here. There's the picture they took together. Okay, I was so proud to host Prince Harry, Jeff Bezos, and Lauren Sanchez at Living Legends of Aviation Awards event Friday night. Congrats to both Prince Harry and Lauren on their awards. All right, so that's that. And I guess he shut his comment. So there's more here. This, I think I went over them on another video. Okay, these are on PYTE. No, 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 no. Our part of your service. All right. Let's bookmark it, like, and whatever. All right, so there's no more comment. Let's go to the next tweet. I want to focus only on, on my list. Next tweet. Okay, his brother should have been honored as a living legend. After all, he flew helicopters too. Plus, he was born first. It's disrespectful and a breach of protocol for the younger son to be celebrated so prestigiously. How dare he accept that? <laughs> that award why do they love him his majesty the king must remove the titles there's that here okay someone give egg a chocolate medal so he can take his nap <laughs> uh pegging has done nothing in his entire life to deserve a title like that prince harry is running while his lazy work shy big brother egg head is still in his diapers years behind him that's for sure because the way he's behaving is crazy okay and yet days ago they were bleating that Harry bought the award, make it make sense. With all the conspiracy theories they had last week, today they came with William declined the award. There's a laugh here. All posts coming from a graphic warning, Joe. Uh, maybe Willie can get a special jacket to go with his airplane shoes. If Toby want an aviation award, he can order one like he did with his BAFTA. <laughs> Remember, Incandescent wanted to woo the U.S. Mm-hmm. Uh, the deranger was lying that Travolta wanted to honor Willie, but he declined, so he decided to give it to Harry as an uh, afterthought. The lies. Okay, it might be one of the baby best posts. Okay, you're back. Uh, so this is my last one. British Press. Let's see here. Okay, British Press 2020 to 2023. We don't need any spares. F. Harry and Meghan. British Press 2024. Come back. I mean, they've been saying it. Uh, where is it? 2021. I have the other one who was saying for him to come back. What's his name? The one who, um, who were, who put the reef at the cenotaph. At uh, him, he was telling Harry to come back. Four times I asked the palace, or maybe three times I asked the palace. If we, as a, as a media group, could meet Megan, and it never happened, and I think if she, if we had have met her, and if she'd have met us, <clears throat> things might have been different. You know, you might see that we're human and she's human. Unfortunately, she did get some bad press, uh, and that's that's that was a mistake. But um, you know, we want we asked for forgiveness and uh, and please come back because um, you know this is a great country and the royal family are very important to us all, and the Queen needs your support, Harry, because. You know, William can't do it all. Catherine can't do it all. The Prince of Wales is taken on the Queen's role now. So he okay, you have done that yourself. Okay, F around, find out. Okay, no one wants them back. Stop projecting. So why are they all into heavy stuff? Why are they all into heavy stuff? One of the royal right literally tell heavy to come back. But um, you know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back because. Okay, I don't think you understand what the projection is. <laughs> Uh, why they're attacking the man Harry took selfie with because he was in reality show but the same media calling for Mike to be working royal make who appear in British reality show 
Oh my God. Uh, is it time for Mike and Zara Tendo to replace Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, popular couple or already comfortable in the limelight and swapping their money making deals for public duties could fill the gap? Oh Lord, <laughs> there's a lot here. Haha, -ha. they need to build a London bridge and get over it. They had their chance with Harry and Meghan and fumble miserably. We thought Kate and Will were beloved. We were wrong. Harry, <laughs> I'm never coming back. Cut nose off. Take that face. And the other thing is, I, sh I didn't put it. Maybe I should look for it. Where Kate is taking some days off and then William is taking days off. They don't know who's going to take her place. Let me look for that tweet. Okay, so I just added here. Okay, what a joke. Kate will work from bed after abdominal surgery as AIDS praise princess unwavering commitment to duty. Uh, so what about uh, what's it, the, the other ones? Mike Tendo and the other one. Why don't they uh, take... <coughs> like I said, this is why I didn't even bother to <laughs> put it. But I went and put it. I forgot the main reason why I wanted to share it with you. Oh, that's it. Now I remember. William. When he should step up, sh you know, the spotlight is there for him. Why don't he show up? Okay? Show up and do what needs to be done. This is his time to shine. His father is not well. His wife is not well. So this is the spotlight that he craved for. Now he has it. He's going to fumble it again. Okay? The desperation, the rich, the mess. There's a life here. Not parenting from bed, but work from bed. Mm. Okay, they must think we were all born yesterday. Kate will be doing zilt <laughs> for the next three months. Work from bed, haha. -ha. Hmm. Work, haha. -ha. There's that here. Sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? Okay, the press are making such a mess of this whole thing. Yeah. All right, so that's it. Let's do a prayer. Prayer for support and uh, let's do guidance. Um, support and the word correctness is coming in mind so let's put that correctness i don't know if this is something correctness is there something no let's look for image correctness i don't know why the word correctness came to mind all right so there's something here let's pick this one okay when evil darkens our world give us light when despair numb our soul give us hope when we stumble and fall lift us up when doubt assailed us give us faith when nothing seems sure give us trust when ideals fade give us vision when we lose our way be our guide that we may find serenity in your presence and purpose in doing your will that's pretty good so let's leave it as that please take a moment to subscribe like and share if you want to support this channel there's a paypal link and a cash app link in the description you could donate those who have donated thank you and i hope some of you check my other channels and subscribe and uh because they're all about the sussexes okay so that is it thank you for your support You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back.
for the better. 